more effective are existing frameworks with, with county governments in addressing multiple child transmission? Thank you, Stefano and our viewers. Uh, I wanted to bring to attention to our viewers that in 2014, the NSCC launched a, a guideline that is called the HIV Prevention Revolution Roadmap that changed the way we were doing HIV prevention in our country. And we focused on four areas that are resulting in even what we are discussing today. One was we stopped doing interventions just for the sake, but started looking at certain populations that we saw were either at vulnerable or were causing to cause more infections. So we started looking at populations that addressing their needs uh, so that we, we address the issues of new infections. Number two, we stopped looking at HIV prevention as a biomedical issue, and then we started looking around for other social determinants, social structural issues, and behavioral under what we call the combination prevention. And then thirdly, we started looking at HIV as a health setting matter, and then we involved the counties and other partners under a campaign that we call the HIV Everyone's Business. And then fourthly, we stopped looking at HIV prevention in terms of the national program, but looking at geographical and even county. That is why today we are gathered here to discuss the HIV situation in Garissa County, because as NSCC we provide the evidence to Garissa County that this is where you are in terms of the HIV profile. This year we are giving them their profile as in terms of what we call the county HIV profile for 2023. And that is where CASCO will assist, and the teams will start looking at what they have, they have done. So we have tried as much to support the counties in terms of the policy, the guidelines, to be able to work on their gaps in terms of, in terms of the stages that uh, uh, health providers define because for a mother to be to come up with an HIV free child, there are those stages that the guidelines provide. They are supposed to fall, they are supposed to be tested, cancer are tested, they are supposed to be put on treatment or through, and they are supposed to test the children if they are exposed, and we follow up with other issues like the men to be involved in the program, and even the community to support the mothers. So those are the issues we are supporting as NSDCC to ensure that mothers give up HIV positive mothers give birth to HIV for children. And we are possible solutions. We have seen counties celebrate what we call HIV exposing parts in many counties coming out HIV negative. So we know that even the research can have such results. Thank you. Now we will say what's going on in the Sabah Kuna Mamoidi Kulin Bani about that the how it become up on a process of company and total as a mutizwe